Sometimes figuring out how to lay out your raft when beginning your raft world can be pretty difficult. So hopefully I'm going to help some of you guys out today. We're going to build the ultimate starter raft featuring pretty much everything you'd need for early game. Now even some of you experienced players may learn a thing or two from this video because I'm going to try incorporate all my little building tricks and skills that I've learned while building my mega raft. Obviously though we've got to start with the shape of the actual raft and I'm not going to go with this old texture we're definitely upgrading it to the newer version i do want to remember where that starting 4x4 grid is though because i think i want to make something special for it because if you didn't know whenever your friend loads into your game this is where they'll spawn every single time all right so i want this raft to be wider than it is long fill in the corners with these triangle foundations which is actually a very good touch they actually add a lot of shape all right so the back wall will pretty much just be solid walls we'll put two windows right there just like that and then i want a little path around the outside so we're just gonna put a diagonal wall like that and then right here i'm gonna do my favorite building trick if you've seen my raft you'll know what this is it's just kind of a little indent where you can put ornaments and that sort of stuff it looks really good and adds a lot of depth now obviously we're gonna have to do the same to this side as well two walls like that a half wall there we go all done okay so that is now our entrance to our little cubby hole so we're just gonna put some roofs right here actually just make some little steps i guess i mean it looks really good it also blocks off my little triangle obviously but i'm gonna leave this one open over here now we're gonna use the floating floor trick if you guys don't know what this is about you basically just put poles around the area and then fill it in with triangle floors and then when we delete the poles later on the floors will just stay hovering and it's a really useful trick to know and i don't think it's gonna be removed in chapter three so if you still want to incorporate this into your raft, now is probably the perfect time. Now, when we destroy these, obviously the floor will stay floating and it is literally as easy as that. I'm just going to put walls right here. We're going to put fences on top of the wall. And then right here, we're just going to put normal fences with a pole there, a pole there. Obviously, we're going to have to put a fence gate right here so that we can get up and close it behind us. And then as for these things, I might actually put these fences because I like them a lot. They also look different and you don't want to have the same thing thing all throughout your entire raft you know one very cool thing i like to do is just add shelves on the top of entrance ways because it actually gives it a little bit of hidden curvature if we stand back i know it's a little weird and it is very rudimentary but i actually think it looks really good and then of course if we pair that with some curtains oh now we're really talking now this bit over here actually looks a little weird so what i'm gonna do is just add another one of these triangle outlay things and then obviously if we pair that with just a slanted roof like that actually looks really streamlined now some of these cupboards look really good so i think if we put two on the entrance way right there i mean it, it can look a little bit silly but remember this is a starter raft and it needs to have a lot of storage you know it needs to have space for everything that you would possibly need in early game i mean we're not talking late game we're not talking middle game early game where you've only got your one furnace your one cook pot and speaking of the simple grills and the pure and everything let's get some of these things actually into the raft all right we're gonna put a table down right there and then hopefully it does fit okay good 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 just like that if it's slightly elevated it just looks less random and of course a fireplace i mean some of you guys may not have unlocked a lot of the furniture blueprints yet but i mean we've got all of them obviously because we're in creative so i'm gonna incorporate a fireplace because it just looks amazing you know what change of plans i want to put a sofa right there because that just looks too good man and then a little table behind it because we do have room and I want to squeeze a load of things in in this build. That looks awesome. I do love the look of that. Okay, cool. That is all sorted out, but we do need to find a home for all of this stuff. And I don't think the grills belong out here. I mean, you know, they should be in here. What if it rains? You know, I know it doesn't put the grill out, but for immersion sakes, we're going to put a little kitchen in here and probably place the grill purifier and some other stuff on top of it. Let's put two walls right there. A little table just like that and there we go we should have a little kitchen going and you know what that is just enough room to put two little chests just like that i think that looks great we're gonna try fit in two grills up here just like that we'll put our purifier back here because i mean why not it doesn't have to have like a dedicated spot you know it's just a purifier and if you've got it the trash can always looks amazing we'll put that in the corner just like that oh we can't put it underneath that sucks okay i guess that'll be good enough then now 
I'm going to give you guys a little tip. Probably one of my favorite building techniques is to board up windows. Now, I know it doesn't look great, but if we go to the menu and pick out this fence right here, the plank fence, and then go onto any kind of window, you can literally board it up. Now, the reason I can do it on this wall and not this one is because there's actually a floor on the outside, this floor right here poking through. And that's the only reason why, which is a little bit of a glitch, but I think it's totally worth it. It looks really cool. Cool. I'll put a little shelf in the corner. And of course, the books have to go on the shelf as well. We'll decorate that more. But right now, I want to get a little dining area going. We're going to whack that right in the middle of these two windows. Right, I've got two chairs. We're not going to squeeze one in there, obviously. But we will put one right there and another one right here. Just so you can look out onto the beautiful ocean. A cup for each person, of course. Some cutlery. And some paper. Because at the end of the day, you are stranded on the ocean. You want to be discussing plans. And a little lantern just to brighten everything up. They survived right there. Obviously, it's zero because we're in creative. But this room definitely deserves some paintings. So let's put one right under there. One in the kitchen as well. And another one right there. And would it really be a raft without some motivational, cringy quotes? Of course not. You know what I've forgotten this entire time, guys? Net collection. I mean, we've got none right now. So let's just make a little row to give ourselves some profit. Because at the end of the day, this raft needs to be functional. Boom. Okay, I think that's enough. I mean, that's really awesome all we need, you know? I'm gonna whack two furnaces down right there, and then right here in the middle is where our receiver is gonna go. Possibly the most important thing of any starter raft. Now, I bet you're wondering, how are we gonna do these antennas? Because obviously, there's not enough room up here. Well, I've already devised a plan for that. Essentially, what we're gonna do is create a one high pole right there, another one over here, and then in the middle, we're gonna have a two high one. And then you can actually put antennas on top of these poles, which is absolutely absolutely perfect. If we put the battery in, that should work. There you go. First try and it looks really clean. And of course, the bed is going to be a nice little luxurious hammock and I think we'll place it right there. We can still come up, go back down, all of that stuff. It's pretty spacious, but there are a few more things we need to fill up here. For example, I mean storage. We don't have much yet and to be honest, I want a lot more. Two chests right there. Beautiful. And then one more just like that. Okay, so that's a bit more storage added in just like that. But one thing we're yet to add are rugs. And I'm sorry, but these things look amazing. We've got to have them absolutely everywhere. Right in front of the door, we'll have a rectangle one because that does look the best. And then in here, underneath the dining room, we're going to have another circle rug. A candle lit dinner, actually. You know what? Let's get rid of the lantern and put that. This deserves a spot outside. So let's put it right there. Put a globe right there. A little quill right next to it because why not? I'm actually going to put a pair of shoes right up here just at the foot of the bed. You know what? We're going to put a cat up here just to greet any people we find, you know? I think that actually looks really good. It's kind of funny. We'll put the scrap duck right there and another clock, a robot right there. Now, this raft looks great. I won't lie, I do like it, but there's one thing missing. Plants. Yes, that's right. Plants are going to go absolutely everywhere. And if you didn't notice already, I actually changed this bit up. I added a little entrance tunnel and I'm actually going to extend this top bit and put the fences right up towards the edge because I think that looks a lot better. Okay, now it's flower time. And I think we'll start with putting one right there. I mean, you might hit your head on it. Boom. Another one right there. Why not? One in between the furnaces. Awesome. Okay, a bunch of plants are already down. I love the look of this. And of course, this cupboard wouldn't be fulfilled with at least a couple plants. Kitchen's looking a little lonely, so we'll add a couple in here as well. This place is actually going to be a literal jungle. I've got no problem with it. And I think two candles would look great either side of that. And what I'm noticing now is that this raft is a little dark. One lantern there. Another one there. We'll have to put a pole there just for the moment. Just so we can put a lantern right there. And also right here. And of course, we've got a fireplace and we need a firewood rack. And you know what? We'll put a sail right there because it actually fits in really well. It's looking amazing, guys. I know what you're thinking. Right, why aren't you adding paint? Well, I would. And if you guys want another version of this raft where I absolutely cover it in paint and not just this little bit down here, then let me know. But this is a starter raft and I feel like it should be respected like that. You know, not every beginner is going to have a load of paint on their hands. So I think for now, this looks very good. Now, you know, one thing we don't have just yet is a farm. So just up here, I'm going to add a 
scarecrow in and some plant plots because why not? Actually, you know what? We're not going to paint the raft, but we will paint some furniture because I really like this color scheme. We'll get the curtains as well because that actually looks really good. Of course, the chairs, the rugs, the tables, everything like that. So if I ever got any friends on this world, which I probably wouldn't, they would spawn right here. They'd be able to see the raft, sweet raft, all these paintings. They'd come in here, see the amazing cluttered kitchen, the dining room, you know, the thinking area with the furnace, with the fireplace. Come out here. We've got the stairs that go all the way up here into this nice little oasis. It just looks so cool and cozy and everything you'd want in a starter raft. Oh, and of course, before we end it off, we've got to fortify it up because Bruce still does exist. And for all of you guys playing in survival, this will help you out. It doesn't cost too much. And since I don't want to ruin the shape of my raft, we'll do it properly and just go all the way around the edge. Painting there, painting there. I can't stop making changes, man. I'm actually addicted. Okay, actually last one. We're going to put a plant right here and then also a flower up here. I think this is looking good, guys. I am finally done. I'm going to stop making changes. I need to take myself away from this world. Otherwise, I'm going to be here for hours. Honestly, creating rafts like this is so fun because there are so many different possibilities and routes you can go down. I promise you guys, try it yourself. Make your own raft. Post it in my Discord because I want to see your guys' creativity and ideas because I'm sure it's much better than mine. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you guys have learned a thing or two and if you have make sure to leave this video a like and if you're new around here make sure to subscribe because we are so close to 4k subs and that is crazy i mean the support recently has been insane and i thank you guys so much so enjoy the rest of your day guys and i'll see you next time